Well, Attack Theater, they're my good friends, uh, Michelle De La Reza and Peter Cope. Uh, they are a, uh, a dance troupe that are also really brilliant actors. <laughs> We've known Neil for quite some time, and we really first met him on stage. We were dancing, he was playing, along with other of the symphony members. Neil, with his other colleagues at the time, were really interested in kind of what's next. What are the possibilities for music connecting, collaborating with dance in a really interesting way? Because Peter and Michelle are on faculty here, we were able to create a, a really unique opportunity for our students. What Neil and Peter Sullivan created was in essence a course, a CMU one semester course where the culminating project was the performance that um, Attack Theater produced with CMU. Usually that piece has a narrator and actors and dancers and they kind of combined it all where the actors were the dancers and they told the story and there was no narrator. And he's the one that really reached out and said, no, they can do it. You know, I've got the students, I know the students can do it. It's an incredibly difficult piece of music, but and he's like, he assured us that they would be of the highest caliber and it would be a great experience, both for us and also for the students. So they worked on the parts individually in their lessons because each of the seven parts are very difficult. And then they also had a coaching every week by uh, the principal trombone in our orchestra, Peter Sullivan. And that was a, a really great, you know, hands-on, in the trenches, real professional um, experience for those kids. They went beyond just learning the music and doing an excellent job with the music. They also created an opportunity for these students to have a kind of a one-on-one -on -one mentoring with their instrument, the person, the player from the symphony, so from a, a musical perspective. And then something that was very, very key to the creation with Attack Theater and with Neil was that these students had an opportunity to perform this incredibly difficult, amazing piece, but in a theatrical setting, which is different. They are on stage the whole time. They're looking for visual cues. Tempos become not just aesthetic, they become critical. I can only jump so high, you know? And so if you slow down the tempo, I'm going to fall. And that, that level of additional factors to both consider and to embrace became a really important part of this collaboration with CMU. I think what we've really begun to experience is the incredible potentials of the creative community that is in the School of Music at CMU. The potential for cross-disciplinary collaboration is huge, and that has so many possibilities for the future.